Um, obviously, a slow start defensively. Was there something, was it just kind of first game stuff that happened, or was there something that concerned you? And what was it you guys did to adjust? Well, I think there are things that are concerning. I, don't, I wouldn't disagree with that. I, I, I do, and I do think it was a slow start. I think they're a good team. I think they're a good offense. And I think that any time you're spending a, a summer trying to get ready for somebody and you don't know exactly what they're going to do, new coordinator, different things, you, 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 it's challenging. And so I thought that uh, Greg uh, Madison and, and Larry Johnson did a great job making some adjustments and, and having great communication about how we were doing some things differently in the run game. Uh, and Al and Matt did a great job uh, from both on the bo in the box and on the field of the same thing. And, and, and it, it was very difficult. A lot of things that probably we hadn't seen quite the same way that we had practiced against them and those kind of things. And then I think the kids, I'm so impressed with these kids. They don't panic. Uh, they take the adjustments. They understand. They learn. And they go out and put them in place. And so I thought they did a really, really good job uh, after the first couple of series. All righty. Go next to uh, Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Dan. Hey, Kerry, it seemed like the quarterback runs in particular gave you guys quite a bit of trouble today. Is there anything that you can pinpoint is, you know, maybe why that was such an issue today? I, well, I, I think that more of the structure of what we were doing and how we were doing things. I, I haven't watched the film and I'd be disingenuous to tell you that, well, I got a perfect answer for that. We, I, I know that we will uh, have an answer, but I don't think uh, early on in the game, uh, we, we, we were handling it very well in the manner in which they were doing it. And so uh, I think that we came in particularly at halftime and made a couple of things, a couple of adjustments that I thought were very effective in the second half. Uh, but those two kids are talented runners, you know, and they, they, they did some really good things and they read pressure and ran away from it in the middle of a play. I mean, they, they did some really good stuff uh, as well. So, and that's an experienced offensive line. So I thought the two tight ends, uh, were effective in the blocking game uh, for them as well. All right, we'll go next to Austin Ward from uh, Letterman Row. Austin. Hey, Kerry, as, as much as, as I'm sure you were looking forward to being back in the horseshoe, I'm sure it felt very different for you. Uh, what was the atmosphere like for somebody who really seems to feed off of that? Yeah, it was weird. I'm not going to tell you it wasn't weird. It was quiet. Uh, it, it's something that we're going to all have to get used to. You know, a guy scoops and scores a fumble, and, and you know how that place would have been, right? It would have been absolutely bananas, and uh, it's just different. And so we got to get used to that because that's the way it's going to be. And uh, uh, I, I think that we will. I think we'll handle it, but I'm not going to tell you it's as much fun. It's not. When that place is rocking, that, 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 that's where you want to be. And uh, so uh, it, I missed that. I, I think our players missed it. Uh, you know, I, I don't, there's nothing we can do about it. But let's not kid ourselves either. It, it, that's a fun environment when it's when the shoes rock. It's one of the best places in the world to 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 coach a football game or watch a football game. All right, got time for two more for Coach Combs. We'll start with Tom Orr from Buckeye Scoop. Tom. Uh, Kerry Haskell Garrett had that really big sack in the second quarter. What did it mean to you guys, both personally and also in terms of just the on-field impact, to have him back out there after all he's been through? I, Tom, I'm sorry, but I'm just not. I need you. Give me a little more clarity. I didn't get it. Uh, Haskell had that big sack in the second quarter. Uh, what did it mean to you guys both personally and in terms of uh, on-field impact um, to have him back out there? Well, I, I hugged Haskell in the locker room after the game, and I, I said, you know, this is a miracle. I mean, it, it's a miracle. This kid was shot in the face, and I don't know how many days ago it was, but it wasn't that long ago. And he just never gave up. He just kept coming in and he would be meeting. I, I, my office right across the hall from Larry Johnson's. And he's in there working with Larry, you know, with, with the stitches and all that stuff, learning and, and preparing without being able to do anything physically. And, and, and for him to do that and then to be able to play. And I'm not going to tell you how he played. I, I, I don't know that until I watch the tape. But I know having him on the field was a difference maker for the Buckeyes. And so... Uh, in, in, in every way, shape, and form. You, you can't undervalue uh, the, the, the impact that that has on, on his teammates uh, and, and the defense in general, that, that experience that he went through how he, and how he got back on the field in such a short period of time. All right, we'll uh, wrap up Coach Combs with Joey Kaufman from the Columbus Dispatch. Joey. 
Terry, what did you think of uh, Marcus Hooker's uh, start and what kind of led him to start and how did you think he did? I, I thought Marcus played well. I, I, I will have to wait. You know, it's hard, hard, always hard to make a judgment right, right after a game. Uh, I, I thought for as young as we are in the back end, I thought that there were some things that we did well. I don't think we did a great job necessarily of uh, crack replacing in some of the run game areas and be some things that we got to look at and figure out and, and get better at. But I think that uh, overall, I thought for a group of young players, uh, they – they played pretty well today. Sean Wade made a huge play today that, that, that will be undervalued or under noticed because of the way he played. He didn't didn't catch the ball, but on on the on the one play, he, he was really uh, spectacular. And, and, and but I thought it was really good to see Hook play. Played a lot of guys uh, in the back end, and, and and I'm I'm excited about him. All right, Coach Gomes, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.